welcome back to No Man's Land. I believe this is episode number 30, a bit of a milestone. And I'm just checking how many uh, hay bales we have left, uh, not too many. And you may have noticed we're now in April, we went through some sort of a time warp. No, not really. In actual fact, uh, I left the uh, game running in the background and it went uh, halfway through the night. So I moved on to the next day and uh, to catch up with everything I sorted out all the animals so they are all taken care of just to get back things back square again uh, so I can get up to the top cows are fine actually got the uh, total mix ration mix right um, not through any deliberate actions, just just by chance, I think. But uh, I think I've I think I've worked it out. Chickens are good, and the sheep are good. The productions are all good. Uh, so what we need to do, in fact, is make. I think we'll, instead of rape, making grass, uh, if we make uh, some hay bales. That will do for the uh, total mix ration, and the sheep can eat the hay as well. So if we just jump over into which track though shall we get into get into the case. So let's get over here and look at these fields. Turn that off. So this we do have plenty of free grass. We just bought this plot of land over the other side there, so we can use that as well. But this uh, grass that I have uh, planted and is fully fertilized is ready to harvest so I guess we should harvest it and turn that into hay so get over into oh we do need the tractor of course to for the mowers so uh, probably don't need the case though we'll probably just jump into the uh, nice little green one which is attached to the trailer and I've got to find the mowers must be over here right after a bit of uh, aimless driving around I realized they're in this shed could not find them actually forgotten all about the shed hadn't used it for some time so but of course that's where the mowers are. Okay. That one hitched up. Uh, now I do have a front weight on so I have to get rid of that. Alright, so I'll just put that in here. Uh, make sure I've got the right one selected. There we go. A bit tight here. We put these trees in the way. All right. Now we we'll get the front one out of here. There we go. Ready to go. I tried to level out this uh, bit of land there near the uh, chicken pen without a great deal of success I might say. I kind of got it lower but uh, it's actually rougher than it was before. Right let's get these unfolded and ready to go. Now I'm making hay so I don't need to put this into a swath. The back one selected and unfolded. There we go. We'll get that load and turned on. I'm not sure I turned the front one on, did I? How am I going to be able to tell? <laughs> I move. It's on. Okay, 
I shall time lapse the mowing of this grass field for the first time. That's the uh, mowing done. It didn't take long at all. Uh, let's just turn those off. Which one am I on? Neither. Ah, yes. That's better. I've got a feeling that you have to switch both of them to widespread. It looks like a swath to me. Uh, not that it really matters because we're tending it anyway. Uh, get the front one turned off and fold it up. Now before I put this away I just want to check. I don't think we bought a tether. No. Uh, considering that we're going to be doing uh, hay probably more than grass or probably in place of grass we probably should get some more equipment for that uh, tethers now we don't need anything huge that's nine meters that's 17 meters uh, it's only a small field I think that one would probably do the job Yeah, should do the job. We'll uh, buy that. We probably will be doing bigger areas later on, but uh, not of hay. We'll probably be doing silage, so won't need it for that. And then we need a... Oops, where am I? Go back. Uh, we're windrower. That's what we need. Next, um, now the windrower... We want to get reasonably big. I think that's the one I've used before. But you jump up from 19,000. Oh, it's that one for 41. Uh, so that's 8 metres. That's 9 metres. I think we'll just get that one. I think that'll do the job. Okay. So two new pieces of equipment. 
Hopefully I can put them on the front and back of the tractor. I'll get these put away and I'll see you over at the store. And while we are at the store, better get this uh, tractor repaired. It's uh, not looking all that good. Let's see, repair uh, John Deere, 8,000. Done. There you go, like new again. Now, um, I don't think I can take these at the same time. That one hooked up on the back. Uh, see if I, oh no, I can't put that one on the front anyway. Alright, we'll get these over to the farm anyway. I'll see you when we're ready to go. Okay, here we are with the uh, tether ready to go. And just get this unfolded. Yeah, it's not all that big, but it should be alright. Um, start off here and we'll see you when the field is completed. Alright, on the last bit of the grass, which we're turning into hay, um, and then we, yeah, so that's it all tethered, and then we need to remow it and bale it up. Not sure how much we'll get off this field, it's, um, it is fertilised, fully fertilised, so it should produce pretty well. We will see. I have no idea. Okay, fold that up, and I guess that can go in that shed over here. I noticed we've got quite a few eggs, but I don't think the price is very good at the moment. i just double check. Let's have a look. Oh, where am I? No, it's not that one. This one. Uh, eggs, eggs, eggs. Down here somewhere, not that far down. There we go. 1500 doesn't look good. No, not good at all. So, we won't be selling any eggs to ship. Now, if I can avoid that tree, I can get around it. And get this into here. What am I on? Stuck on something? No. Just a bit of a hill. Okay, put that in there. And connect up the windrower and get on with the next phase of making hay. Quite a process, but the way that the the rate the cows and the sheep go through it, we uh, need to do it. So let's get that unfolded. Yeah, it's not very big at all, is it? Okay, should do the job. However.
last swath of the hay and we're ready to bale it. Let's get to the end of this row and we can put the uh, put this away and the baler's in that shed over there I believe. Yes, there it is. And we'll get that on the, the case. Okay, all good. Hold it up. I'll we'll see you back on the baler. Okay, we've got the uh, the big baler on the case, and uh, let's get this started. See how many we get. Okay, let's get this unfolded. Oh, it already was unfolded. Get it lowered and turned on and let's get going. The last bit, just about done, and that was uh, pretty good. Looks like we got quite a few bales off a pretty small field, really. That'll keep us going for a little bit while longer, keep the sheep and the cows happy. Right, let's get to the end here. Got a little bit left in the baler, but that'll get uh, used up next time. Um, how do you get that? Uh, that's right. No. Unload baler. Why? Uh, helps if you hit the right key. There we go. Uh, fold this back up and we'll get this over in the shed and I'll see you with the trailer and I'll time lapse uh, picking all these up carting them over to the shed and doing a little bit of rearranging uh, of what's over there at the same time. Just drop these off over in here. We're just about out of um, the ones that were over in the shed. So we'll pop those in there.
and that should keep us going for a while we will need more straw before too long um, we only got a canola crop in so we we'll probably need to think about um, getting another field organized actually um, so we have all this area here um, let's just do a little bit of uh, planning turn that off and see what we can do here into landscaping and I want to continue where's this road okay there it is there I was putting in this road which is going to form the boundary of this farm um, so let's make that a bit bigger that's the size there um, a bit of a rock in the way there which is unfortunate but uh, we'll go around that and this road is going to head over to over this way and try and get better orientated there yep yeah, out that way over this little hill and a bit hard to see where that little valley is now but uh, let's just uh, jump out of there and just have a look at the yeah probably probably that size will do uh, so we're on the edge of this property this block here which heads off that way so we do have all the way across to here so this could be quite a reasonable size field especially if I was to buy the next block and that would probably complete this farm so just wait for it to do that if uh, I was to buy the next block I'm going to buy that okay so that is all our land right to the end of that other field there all right so I'm standing uh, roughly on the corner Right, I think I just sorted it out. Just need to change the angle a bit. And um, so that's the boundary of this farm, basically. I'll have to sort out all this later on. I think the road is okay. Um, so that will be as big as this farm gets. So all this can be uh, a new field. Let's get out of that. Yes, all this can be a new field, which will be great. So I think that'll wrap it up for this episode. Uh, episode number 30 it was. Uh, thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, plenty more good ones to come um, we probably won't go much further with uh, buying land at the moment I think we'll just develop what we've got uh, I want to do some more landscaping on the forest over there and then sort of catch up with um, everything that we've got here so quite a bit to do so I'll see you on the next episode thanks for watching bye